Shalom, my name is Tony Robinson from Restoration of Torah Ministries, and I want to talk to you today about chiastic structures. What is a chiastic structure? Now, we want to talk about this because uh, one of the goals of Restoration of Torah Ministries is to help you understand your Bible. And in order to help you understand your Bible, you're going to uh, need to learn how to think thematically. In other words, the Bible is written in themes. And as we begin to note those themes and then begin to connect themes that sh that uh, connect scriptures that share common themes, we will begin to see uh, many, many teachings and we, we will be able to see many uh, literary patterns that will come forth before, uh, before our eyes. So basically, uh, let's talk about some chiastic revelations. A chiastic structure is essentially a thematic method of organizing the narratives of the Tanakh. Uh, and also the New Testament. Uh, a story is typically divided into two halves, and in the first half, you may have certain themes developed. Let's say theme one, theme two, theme three, and theme four. And then that will be, those four themes may be in the first half of the story. And then um, the, in the second half of the story, you will see the same themes in, uh, in the first half of the story, but they will be in reverse order. So whereas theme one was first in the first half, as you read down the story, theme one will be last in the second half of the story. And so you see it kind of makes a little arrow here, the way I have it here. And so all of the themes in the first half will be repeated in the second half of the chiastic structure. And both of them point to what is called the central axis, usually. Now, sometimes the central axis does not exist, and uh, we'll talk about those. But uh, basically, that is what a thematic, that is what a chiastic structure is. Now, there's another thematic pattern in the scripture. Sometimes they, uh, these chiastic structures take on a form called a parallelism. And in a parallelism, the themes in the first half, theme one, two, three, and four, will repeat themselves in the second half, themes one through four. And so that right there is a parallelism. So let's look at a, a small chiastic structure here. Uh, we're going to look at a very, very small chiastic structure. It's found in Psalm 33, verse 6. It says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, all the host of them, by the breath of his mouth. Okay, so now this is where you see why it's important to study thematically or how, how you do that. Uh, basically, um, many people, they, uh, they say that this is just part of the poetry of the Bible. You've heard of prose and poetry. And uh, some people think that the scriptures are written this way uh, just to be poetic, when that is absolutely not the case. Because uh, one of the things we want to do is we want to show you how these chiastic structures and parallelisms actually teach you theology. But uh, as you can see here, it just looks as if uh, the psalmist has repeated himself, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Here's the chiastic structure. Clearly the word word in the phrase word of the Lord is thematically connected uh, to the word and phrase breath, breath of his mouth. And the heavens here is thematically connected to the host of them. Now, if we divide this one little verse in half, if we divide it in half, we can see that the two themes in the first half have been repeated in the second half in reverse order. Okay, so that's that's the main point we want to make there. Now, what you may not know is that your whole Bible uh, is written this way and all of the stories of the Bible are written this way. Let's look at a, a slightly larger one here, a chiastic anal analysis of Joshua uh, 2, verses 3 through 7. In Joshua 2, verses 3, it says the king sent people to Rahab looking for the spies. Okay, if you remember that story. Well, um, that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and just get this all on here. Oops, let's go back one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these on here. That's thematically connected to the second half of Joshua chapter 2, verse 7, where it says the men of Jericho pursued the spies. So looking for the spies is thematically connected to pursue the spies. And again, what we're going to do here is we're just going chronologically through this passage here. Verse 3, 4a, 4b, 5a, 5b, 6, and 7. Okay, we're just going straight through the passage. But as we uh, go through the passage, what we're going to see 
is that there is actually a thematic pattern that's going to uh, happen. Here is the uh, center of the chiastic structure. So there's your first half up that way. And here's your second half down here. And all of the themes A, B, C will repeat in reverse order, A prime, B prime, C prime, in the second half of the chiastic structure, pointing to the central axis, okay? Right here, it says the king, we already talked about that, the king sent people looking for the spies versus pursued the spies. The common thematic connection is that they were trying to um, uh, find the spies. Uh, Joshua 2 verse 4a, it says that Rahab hid the spies. That is thematically connected in the second half to verse 6 where it says Rahab hid the spies. You see? And now you'll begin to understand why uh, uh, when you read scripture, you think, hey, didn't I read that before? And the reason why is because these stories are told in thematic patterns. So the third theme, which is verse 4b, Rahab stated, I don't know where they are. That is thematically connected to the same theme in the second half in verse 5b, where Rahab stated, I don't know where they went. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. And then finally, we have of our central axis, the spies left Jericho through the gate when, when, when it was close to dark. Okay? Now, here's what I want to leave you with in this first lesson today. Probably every verse in the Tanakh and the New Testament, I might, I might add, is thematically or chiastically related. I've uh, come across about four different levels of chiastic structures. Uh, a small one, such as the one in Joshua 2, uh, verses 3 through 7. Uh, where the chiastic structure is found in a few verses, or like Psalm 33, verse 6, where it was only one verse. Uh, level 2, I call a larger chiastic structure spanning more than one chapter. For instance, Genesis 28, uh, verse uh, 10, through Genesis 32, verse 3, is one large chiastic structure. Level 3 is a chiastic structure where a significant amount of text separates the two chiastically related passages. For instance, Judges chapter 14, verse 1 through 15, verse 13 is chiastically related to Judges chapter 21, verses 11 through Judges 21, verse 25. And then we have larger chiastic structures that span more than one book. And, uh, and so, for instance, there's one that extends from the book of Exodus all the way to the book of Deuteronomy. Okay, so anyway, this is our introduction to chiastic structures, and uh, I hope that uh, this made sense. But uh, as we continue, we're going to continue to look at chiastic structures and see what kind of wisdom we can gain from them. Thank you very, very much for your time. Shalom. Since the world began, Since the world began.